Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna replace air conditioning hose. So, this is just a dust on radiator hose, and where air conditioning refrigerant leaks, leaves this substance. Because air conditioning contains refrigerant and refrigerant oil, and it will leave mark like this. This will make it easy for us to know where we have the leak. This is the return line. One end enters the evaporator, and it runs under the filter box to reach the compressor. So, the bigger diameter hose is the return line, which is the low pressure side. And the smaller diameter is the discharge line, which is the high pressure side. For replacing AC hose, we will need air conditioning refrigerant, which labeled here what type to use. Most of cars use this type because it's ozone friendly. A proper refrigerant gauge and a new hose. We also gonna need a digital scale to know exactly how much refrigerant we put in the system, which also labeled here. With this particular car, we need to remove filter box for replacing our damaged air conditioning hose. Now we can easily remove the hose. Looks like we had more than a place for refrigerant leak. Before removing the hose, let's see if you have any refrigerant left in the system. You will also gonna need a quick disconnector adapter for low pressure side port. The gauge reads zero pressure. All the refrigerant leaked out. Let's disconnect the gauge and start from evaporator side. Just undo the 10 mm nut and pull the hose out. We're gonna work our way down, removing any harness clamp and hose clamp, till we reach the compressor. With the new hose, always make sure that it has the o-rings and lubricate them as well. It will provide better seal. And I like to clean everything before connecting the new hose. Connecting the new air conditioning hose will be reverse of how we removed it. Starting from evaporator side and work our way down to the compressor. Alright, the hose connected from both sides. I like to pressurize the system till 200 psi to check the connections for a leak before charging. When it reaches 200 psi, close the valve and use soapy sponge for the connections. I don't see any bubbles. Good, we have no leaks. Open the valve and let the pressurized air out. Let's vacuum the system. With the air conditioning system, if there is any moisture in the system, the air conditioning not gonna work properly. Now we can charge the system with the refrigerant. Putting on the scale and zero it out. And open the gauge valve. Now we can start the engine and turn on the air conditioning. We're gonna wait till it reaches the recommended weight. And while charging, look at the gauge. If the gauge shakes, means the compressor is bad. And when it reaches the recommended weight, the return line should be cold. Alright, we are almost done. Removing the gauge hose and putting the cap back. And the last thing is the filter box. And here is how to replace air conditioning hose and charging with the refrigerant. Even if you don't have all this tool to get the job done, but now you know what it needs to get the job done before your mechanic tells you a fancy story. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.